Okay, get ready for another light rant from me. I'm not fond of how overworked everyone is getting over this coronavirus. Face with symbols over mouth this really pisses me off. Sigh now, for my two cents on the matter. I had been aware of this virus since I had foreseen this event and then finding the confirmation of its conception last January in mid-eastern China. I refused to overthink the topic or the virus at all, so I remained oblivious to any discussion or details on the virus at all and continued to keep my healthy habits of soap and water hand washing, always having and using hand sanitizer with aloe when needed and even recently started wearing a 3 meter brand mask for precaution. I'm confirmed to be negative of the virus, myself, from recent blood work with my family doctor. The bottom line is that this viral event is actually a better step in our own developments and evolution, as well as a deity level test to sort out the weak from the moderate and strong of mental and soulful intervals, and nothing else. The fact that we actually have a vaccine being tested now shows that this epidemic will be over with within one week or two, and everyone will have adjusted from the knowledge that had been scientifically gathered of this thing. Everyone mainly is just paranoid of this which they do not fully know or comprehend, and hardly ever thought to take what they had learned from the past similar epidemic and apply it to now to actually play it smart and wise. I do not even know of the symptoms. Because, again, if I literally overthought about it, I would be at greater risk of infecting myself from reading and repeating the list in my mind. It's neurotypical and idiotic for anyone to do that and overthink it. Sigh but, I digress. A lot of people can get so overworked and recklessly paranoid and stressed over such simple and obvious things to the point of individual social isolation that puts a delay to too many things. I feel pissed off seeing everyone going that far. It's simply crazy and stupid. The only positive out of it is the further reminder for everyone, in general, to simply wash their hands and keep clean habits as often as possible. The greater factor for a happy healthy life is maintaining a positive optimistic outlook for yourself on life and counting your individual blessings. I do this every day. So should you. Hatred and darkness only sends one downhill. I'm checking out and binging hashtag cells at work on at Netflix. Healthy and well, or even not feeling well during these times, you can watch this to remind and encourage your body's deference to do their best in deference and work for you. Also, yet another reminder to not only hashtag wash your hands, but also hashtag drink water, filtered or bottled, preferred, quartz, rose quartz, or amethyst optional to enjoy it on the rocks, held in place with aluminum wire. Laughter is always the best medicine to strengthen your killer T-cells, so enjoy some Pinkie Pie to smile and laugh your way to health. Also, remember to hashtag wash your hands. Hey, everyone. Today marks the two-year anniversary of the union of Magi Chan Sonichu, Krizzle Rosichu, Sylvana Rosichu, Mutuo, and I in matrimony hashtag happy anniversary, my loves, here's to many more of our adventures and simple times together the many more years to come. I love you. Art drawn by. At one, crazy underscore bird sorry for not crediting you earlier.